Don't embarrass me too much. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. What's happening, beautiful people? Hey. All right. Well, well, thank you, Sardis, for having us today. Thanks for coming out. I was asked to come here today to say some words about a very good friend of mine. Now, um, I have to say, it. I met I met this young lady a few years ago. I was born and raised here in the city, Manhattan. Grew up on the Lower East Side, and that's kind of around where we met. <coughs> I'm gonna cap it at 20 years. <laughs> Anything more than that, I'm gonna get in trouble. So, <laughs> roughly about 20 years ago, I met this woman, and we've been friends ever since. Now, part of the reason why we stayed friends this long. 20 years. 20 years. <laughs> 20 years is, is, it has something to do with, with her generous spirit. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Now, those of you who know her personally will attest to that. Those of you who know her peripherally, maybe not so much. <laughs> but, <laughs> her, 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 her generous spirit and her honesty. Now, 20 years. 20 years. <laughs> Except for that one year. Now, I hope all of you in this room have at least that one friend who will tell you the truth. Oh, yeah. If you don't, <laughs> you better get one. <laughs> it's important. And she has been that for me. She's told me things about myself that have helped me grow and become better. I've been in this industry for almost 30 years now. Mostly film and television. Broadway, not yet. Tough nut to crack. Jerry Mitchell? <laughs> no. <laughs> but, but for this one, not so much. Now, I, I sort of read some things about her, and, and something, something I read said, she has found her niche. A niche. I scoffed. <laughs> now, this thing about bringing these sort of big character movie characters to the Broadway stage. Ah, uh, yeah. That's great. Now, when I was young, my mother told me something. She said, if you ever meet a person with just one name, <laughs> keep your eye on them. <laughs> so for the last couple of decades, that's what I've been doing. I've been keeping my eye on this one. And I gotta say, out of all the years that I've known her, I don't think I've ever really heard her sing. <laughs> now I've seen her perform, and I've seen her sing a little bit. I mean, recently, I actually got her to Jersey <laughs> to work on a project for me, to sing a little something on this thing I was working on. Now, those of you who know her, the fact that I even got her to Jersey <laughs> is insane. 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 But that's how much she loves me. She goes to Jersey. So I get her in the studio, and I tell the guys, I'm like, yeah, this is a good friend of mine. She's going to go in there and sing. So they turn on the track. She's in there, and she does what she does, and they're in there, they're like, oh, oh, oh my God, oh, shit, ah. and I'm like, eh, she's gonna break a sweat. I know her, I'm like, she's, she's just doing what she does. That's the, and this is my problem. <laughs> For years now, I've had this sneaking suspicion that there's something else. There's like another gear. Like there's this other room that we haven't been let into yet. And, and, and this is why I've stuck around. <laughs> so that when she decides to open this room and allow us in, maybe possibly if I'm good, I'll get an invitation. <laughs> Probably will, because she knows. I'll go out into the world with conviction. Tell them she's the real deal. Talking about a voice that doesn't quit. A performer who can't wait for the opportunity to give an audience everything she's got. <laughs> so, you know, me, you, consider myself lucky with the knowledge that the best is yet to come. <laughs> voice that doesn't quit. I'm telling you, oh, with a voice like that, sky's the limit. So, everybody, let's give it up.